Hello, I'm Dr. John Volping from Optimum Health Chiropractic. Today we're going to go over some postural exercises to improve your your shoulder position. And basically what that will do is it will basically improve your overall posture. The first thing I want to show you is basically an exercise of arm circles. And there's a specific way that I want you to perform this, these circles so that you can get the most benefit out of that. So first thing I want you to do is I want you to put your arms straight out at 90 degrees. You're then going to basically bring your scapula bone, the two wing bones that we call them, together. Retract them together so you almost you can hold a piece of paper between your shoulder blades. We're then going to perform arm circles, short and tight. The idea being that we want to basically lubricate the joint. We also will want to warm up the muscles of the, of, of the joint and also prevent any adhesions from forming. What happens is through inactivity of our shoulders as we get older, we lose the function of the shoulder joint and range of motion. So this exercise is basically to warm up the shoulder so that we can go and do some stretches for it. You want to do 30 circles in a row going in a forward position, and then you're going to change positions and go into a backward position, short and tight, making sure that your form of your arm circles are basically staying at 90 degrees. You're not dropping one arm down, you're not dropping one arm back too far or going too far, far forward. You're keeping them at 90 degrees. Hello. All right, so we're going to go and show you those three uh, stretches that we're going to do after the exercises. It's important to do these stretches after the exercises, not before, we want, because we want to basically make sure that the joint is fully warmed up, and we've basically got blood flow into that area, and we've basically uh, broken up some of the adhesions and lubricated the joint. So the first stretch we're going to do is the pectoralis major. Uh, that's, a, that's an important muscle stretch for that major muscle group of the chest, because it's such a powerful muscle group, it actually usually wins the battle. And you always see people, uh, when they're at work or in everyday life, they're basically slouching over. And the reason why they're slouching over is because that powerful muscle group is winning the battle and pulling your, shoulder, your shoulders forward. So we're going to stretch that muscle group. Uh, the second stretch we're going to stretch would be the pectoralis minor. And then the third stretch would be terrius minor. It's important that we do these stretches in order, starting with the pectoralis major stretch. So we'll, I'll go ahead and show you that first stretch right now. All right, let's, let's go ahead and get started. The first stretch, the pectoralis major stretch. Your arm is going to be at 90 degrees, and you're basically going to make sure your body is fully in vertical position. You're not bent. You're basically staying at, at, at perpendicular. 90 degrees, turning and stretching. You're going to hold this for 15 seconds. Alright, second stretch, pectoralis minor. This one's a little more difficult, a little more technical. Uh, what you need to understand is we're going to start at position one, stretch, and we're going to transition to position two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start 90 degrees at the arm, and I'm going to turn and basically bring my arm up at 45 degrees angle. When I do, when I go 45 degrees, I'm going to move in. Keeping my hand right here, I'm going to bend my knees and slap my hand down as I do so. I'm then going to stretch pectoralis minor for 15 seconds, keeping the arms straight. Alright, so for the last stretch of this exercise, we're going to do the terriers minor, and we're basically going to, uh, in a sense, Almost like you're patting yourself on the back. That's how you're going to bring your arm up. And we're going to basically press the arm against the wall while you're facing the wall. So make sure you're nice and vertical. You're facing the wall. I'm bringing my arm up, almost like I'm patting myself, and I'm facing the door. I'm going to hold that for 15 seconds. And we're going to focus in on that terrier's minor right here. So in conclusion, um, this stretch is a very uh, important stretch. Uh, it's one of those things that uh, when we're younger uh, and we're, we're kids, we're climbing around on trees, we're, we're using our shoulders and our arms, 
all the time. As we get older, we kind of become more sedentary, and we don't really use our arms and our shoulders the way they're designed to. So this is something you can do on a, on a daily basis. Before you get in the shower, I recommend that you do it first thing when you first get up, in front of a mirror, and, and usually in your bathroom if you, have, if you have enough room. And in doing so, you're going to basically start your day off in the right position. And it's one of those things that you want to strengthen those back muscles by keeping the wing, the scapula bones together, and you're also going to stretch those powerful muscle groups in the front. Maintaining that proper shoulder position, which is going to take less pressure off your nerves, which will basically allow the body basically to be able to communicate with itself much more efficiently. So I hope this exercise helped you out, and if you have any questions, call our office at 732-528-9090. Have a great day.